Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Now that we have the power of warping, we can do all sorts of stuff a whole lot easier than we ever were able to before. Like for instance, the first thing that I'm going to be doing in this catch-up part of sorts is to deposit a load of money, or I should say donate, a lot of money to the preacher guy back at Hyrule Castle Town. Just to clear out my wallet a bit, I mean, I've this stuff that I'm going to be doing here, it's going to take me a little while, so... Oh! <laughs> How did he know I was Link anyway? I mean, he said, hey Link, when I was in, as a wolf, and... Oh, never mind. I probably shouldn't question the game logic. Uh, Alright, let's see what Telma has to say. Boop. And... I'm way too close to the TV screen for this. <laughs> <laughs> I have my dance pad set up, so uh, I have to be a little bit closer to the screen because I put my dance pad further away from the screen, and yeah. Hmm, that sounds like a good plan. I'm going there anyway, so here we go. I will roll my way there just because it's fun through the bloom. <laughs> and the preacher guy is right here. And if you don't mind, I will donate 400 rupees, which will bring us all the way up to a total of 600 rupees. And this is going to take me a while, so I'll see you in a sec. You are a very demanding guy, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Actually, I don't remember my previous total. I'm, whoops, I'm... Oh wait, this is the right way. I'm pretty sure that it was 200, which is why I said bringing me up to 600. But anyway, I am going to be going through here... And... Ignoring everyone, including the creepy stalker guy over there. And going... Dang it! The camera! Ah! <laughs> It's just like they, they're right in your face because you're so close to the camera and you run right into them. So here we are at Telma's bar. Let's check it out. Yoop. Meow meow. Meow mix. That's all you have to say to me? Fine, be that way. Uh, did I already meet? Well, actually maybe not. <laughs> That, that mailman is always confused, I swear. Oh. Indeed it is! Mm, I've been okay, I suppose. Just uh, adventuring. Hey. Ah, I, I get it. I, I did see those peeps before, but they I was in wolf form. I completely forgot. <laughs> Uh-oh. That's for a little bit later, once I get all these side quests out of the way, per se. Ah, okay, okay, let's see with what everyone has to say here. Maybe. <laughs> you too. Really, I'm PK Gam, but everyone sees me as Link in game, so I guess that's what I'm rolling with here. Mm, that's exactly what I'll do. Mm. That place has my favorite dungeon in any Zelda game ever, by the way. I can't wait to get there. Oh, poop. No. <laughs> what? Aha! I knew you looked familiar. You're welcome. Yeah, so this guy is kind of a warrior sort of guy. Kind of accidental prone though. <laughs> Just want to make sure that uh, I I got no no I don't want to talk to you again. Dang it! <laughs> I want to make sure I have all the conversations. Oh, yeah.
Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Perhaps we'll be there someday. No. <laughs> okay, let's get out of here. Now, the next thing that I'm going to be doing is... Going to that place that ended up warping me over to Lake Hylia, but not, I'm not using that place as a warp though. I'm just going there to uh, meet up with ye ol' warrior himself, the Golden Wolf. And that is... The shortest path is this way, at least I think so. And then... Through here, I think. <laughs> it's been a while since I've been through here, so yeah. And I don't feel like talking to so many people, good lord. <laughs> I believe I've talked to the majority of them already. I don't know if they have anything different to say, but I'm all business here. Wait, 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 is this? Nope, wrong exit. Wrong place. Duh! I'm gonna go this way. So what I should have done was actually just gone south from Telma's bar. I should always check my map ahead of time, shouldn't I? <laughs> oh well. So we're now go this way. No! I really shouldn't try rolling here. <laughs> hmm. Uh, I suppose that's interesting, but not interesting enough for me to talk to more people. <laughs> so now that we're here, the place that I was looking for, uh, where is our... Oop. You know, wait, up, up. Still too close to the TV. <laughs> okay, I need to go... This way, and down somewhere, I presume. <laughs> Can I hop over here? No, I can't. <sighs> oh, he's making me take the long way around. <laughs> From the looks of the map, that wolf was down here, so... Yep. Why, hello there! You're all fluffy and cute. Oh, I'd like to pet you, but first, the battle! Indeed we do. That sounds exciting. Well, yes. Backslice is probably one of the easiest to use moves, or maybe it just is because I'm used to doing it in Wind Waker. Come on, you gotta attack me for me to... There we go. There we go. Oh, pfft. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I, I, he has to, like, attack me so I don't, you know, like, accidentally... <laughs> well, that works. <clears throat> Perhaps I was just being too technical about it. Let's do it! Helm Splitter 101! Shield attack, then A. Oh! Oh! Good thing he's good with that sword there. <laughs> Alright. E. Nope, not, not like that. E. Just push forward and there we go. And then you can attack from behind. Voila! Pretty easy to do. Only, strangely, I thought that I was shaking the nunchuck, but I, I was actually just pushing it forward, obviously. Oh well. I will not, because I'll pretty much be forced to do so throughout my adventure. Now, can I pet you? Oh, I guess not. 
What a shame. <laughs> um, the next thing I'm going to do, I think, is warp over to the Faron Woods. Ah, so close to the TV. Bad. <laughs> And I'll see you at the next task. Actually, I think I'm gonna show you something here just for the fun of it. I will call my faithful steed a no payover. And then secretly, behind her back, transform into a wolf. And now I shall talk with her. So she does recognize me. Okay, now... Actually, this she is exactly what I need. I'm going back to the Ordon Ranch to do ye ol' goat wrangling minigame again. Because if you do it for a third time, you will be able to get another heart piece. And here we are. Don't be afraid of me. Well, actually, you should be afraid of me so I can wrangle you. You there! I know I have a job to do. I believe you can do this anytime after you complete the Goron Mines. Or at least I think. It just sounds like it, by the way, of, you know, his dialogue here. Uh, I need to talk with you again. <laughs> Why? Yes, did you somehow miss this giant animal that I'm riding? <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> Let's do this! See if we can break our record. Oh, it's probably not gonna happen. Um, you can make the goats move a little bit faster if you whoop. Like that, maybe, sometimes. It, that might actually work a little bit better. I never tried whooping before, because I figured it would make Anope go, you know, out of control, kind of. <laughs> because you know how fast she moves, and it would be kind of hard to do a, pre a precise job like this. On uh, four more, or five more, wait, but really? Where's the other? Oh. You sneaky snake. How? Maybe run into the wall. Well, kind of. Ah, it still worked out. <laughs> And voila! Woohoo! You're welcome. And now I've got to do some other stuff. So let's go! Actually, as long as I'm in the area, let's let's go back to my house and see what is in the basement. There be treasure. I need a lantern to get it though. You can't get this treasure without a lantern. It's not that, it's... Uh, I'll first equip the lantern. Ah, still too close to the TV. What is wrong with me? I should move back. <laughs> so, I'm going down here. I'm gonna just flop down just because. If you light your lantern. Oh, 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 oh. See, now you can you can open the chest when you, ha when you have the lantern lit. But, if you put... Oops, I was going to say, if you put away the lantern, you won't be able to do that, but I screwed it up. But trust my word on that. Now, here's a potential Easter egg of sorts. If you look over here at this mirror, see this right here? Now, put away your lantern. If you look over there, that there's some people say that might be a reference to Shadow Link. But I'm not so sure about that myself. <laughs> Just because you know it's a you know a dark reflection of sorts, but I, I really don't know if that's really a reference to Shadow Link or not. Even if it looks kind of sinister, because you know it only shows his eyes and some of the highlights of the sword and stuff like that. Anyway, next destination we go.
All right, here's the sucky part of the thing that I have to do at the moment. Well, I don't have to do it now, but I'm just gonna get it over with right away. I'm going to be getting Poe's back at the village, but the Poe's that I'll be collecting, you can only find at night. So, I've gotta wait until nightfall, and I'm gonna be messing around in Hyrule Field here. <sighs> this is going to take quite a while. But don't worry, I'll cut forward. <laughs> this game really is very beautiful. So picturesque. So gorgeous. Ah. Uh... You hear the music transition over? Well, it's it's going to. <laughs> Come on. Any day now. I know there's another song that plays here. <laughs> ah, there we go. Hear this song? It's kind of quiet, but... When this song plays, you'll know it's nighttime. So, go back to the village. You can the time will only pass when you're outside the village, so that's why I had to leave and go to Hyrule Field. And well, yeah, actually no, and I'm not going back to the village. I'm just going back to Faron Woods. More specifically, that um poisonous fog area. I suppose I won't cut forward or anything like that because now I have now since I have the ability to transform at will. I can just warp right through this cave and r show you where I am aiming to go. <laughs> what I mean by warp is this hidden spot here. And... Boop. Let's get out of here! Now in this poisonous fog area, you're gonna have to work your way back to the center. And that is the first pole that I'm going to be aiming for. So go here. I'm pretty sure you know the route since I've been here through. I mean, you've been through here before, and I'm, and you've been through here before. And there it is. Attack! Attack! Yeah! Voila! And now I'm gonna go back to the sacred grove. Hey, I should talk to you, shouldn't I? As long as I'm here. Hey, there we go. <laughs> and you'll find out something here. At least I think you'll find out something here. If, if I don't find... Oh, there we go. <laughs> uh, the... I don't know if you get the... Um, his master is actually the oil salesman back um, near the exit to Faron Woods. <laughs> Anyway, you want to take this route through the woods once again. Yeah, I know it's kind of annoying to go through, but there's no way to warp into this portion of the Sacred Grove, and, well, yeah, that's kind of the issue. <laughs> oh, shoot! Didn't mean to do that! Oh, anyway, I'll just cut over to where I need to go anyway. <laughs> now that I'm here, I should probably just show you where you need to... Wait, what? What? Who? Uh, why? I thought you couldn't... Uh, maybe I will have to see if I can warp to that particular spot. <laughs> oh. Mm. Well, this kind of throws a monkey wrench in my plans. Unless I have to be a human? To get through there? Uh, how do I get back to the sacred grove? I know I'm able to do so later, but... Maybe I just can't do it now. Well, there's two poses over there that you can only get at night. And... Yeah, I can't do it right now. <laughs> 
So, I think I did a good enough job of covering the Farron Woods stuff that you can get right now, so I think I'm going to end off the part. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next parts.